Okay, hey guys, so I'm so sorry I haven't been doing any YouTube tutorials or anything like that. I've just been really busy with um, <clears throat> trying to start up my new website, um, uploading things on Tumblr and also working on Instagram as well. So um, if you haven't seen it yet, um, I have created a Facebook page, Tumblr and Instagram like application and it's called Beauty by Elle. So just follow all of them or like or do whatever. Um, on the Tumblr, it just has more detail on, like, what I've done, um, with, like, makeup projects and things like that, and, like, what colours I've used, and Instagram, just more of, like, photos of the things I've done, um, and then you have your Facebook page where you can contact me if you do want to book in or anything like that, um, and that's pretty much, i put all the photos that or majority of the photos that I have um, done up on there so that's acts pretty much like my portfolio anyway so um, just to kick off these tutorials I want to show you what I just purchased actually um, my favorite things the lashes so this is only like a few of them and I'll show you each individual one as well after um, don't know where that goes. It's more individual types as well, and medium individuals as well. Um, short individuals, and also Ardell adhesives. Okay, so just going through them. Um, I bought the number 82s, number 747 mediums, number 118s, and then your individual short, medium, long. Actually, short and long in red cherries. Um, and then your, Ar um, your medium individuals in Ardell's, just because they ran out of the red cherries. And then lash glue in Ardell's. Anyway, so today I'm wearing um, red cherry number 82. So as you can see, they're still quite natural. Um, Try to push them up a tad. So it's still really thin as well. Um, it's not really a thick band at all. Um, and great for every day if you want to use them every day like I do. Um, so this is how they look like. They're probably like your medium lengths, I'd say. So as you can see, they're pretty spread out. Um, and they feather at the ends as well, so they're not as thick as the base. Okay, so those were the number 82 red cherry ones. Um, now, one of my other favorites were the 747 mediums that I stocked up on. And this is how they look like. So they're a little smaller than your 82s. So if you want something natural as well, you could go for these every day. They do flare at the end. Wait, that way, yeah. So you can see they're longer at the at the um <clears throat> at the corner, and um, what I like to do with these as well is on the band I attach individuals after I've put this on my eye, so it just thickens that, and also um, it doesn't create such a thick end to the lash as well when you put them on. Um, it's just more at, at the base that I focus the individuals on, um, and then something that I'm trying out, which I haven't, are the 118s, only just because they ran out of the 217s and also the 218s. Um, so if they do have them, I do recommend them. Um, they're a little thicker and a little longer than your 747Ms, and I still do attach individuals on top of that when I go out. Um, so that's, wait, wrong one. That was awkward. Anyways, um, these are the 118s, so as you can see, they're really, really long. Um, I'm going to try to attach the individuals, and um, I'll try to show you how they look like in the end. Um, but yeah, like, great for going out as well, and like the um, 747Ms, they do flare out at the end. Okay. Next ones. So I have my shorts, individual lashes, 
and long individual lashes in Red Cherry. Just really, um, like a great product really, um, standard product, especially if you're freelancing as well. Um, they're easy to apply, they do have that knot at the end of every lash, so they don't tend to fall or um, go from side to side when you're applying them, they're really easy to apply like I said. And these are also the Ardell individual mediums. Like I said, um, I would have just bought the mediums in these, they're practically the same um, besides um, the price. So. If they do have them, do get the um, mediums in these, there's no difference. Um, like these are a little more expensive than these. Each red cherry lash actually costs $1.99, so, and that's US. Um, and I'm pretty sure it's cheaper for the Australian dollar at the moment. Um, shipping's pretty cheap as well, so what I'd recommend is buy them with your friends and then just half the shipping. Um, so where I get them from actually is Made M Madeline, really good. Um, they have Ardell, Revlon, Red Cherry, um, and another one called, which I haven't tried yet, but another one called Bullseye, which I've heard about. Um, so do check that out. They sell the glues as well. And I'll show you this glue. I haven't actually tried it, um, but I've heard a lot about it. Instead of the clear glue, it's actually a black lace, that blue, black base blue too. Um, oh my gosh, I didn't even get that right. Black based glue. Okay, there you go. So instead of that white, which turns to clear, it's already black. So that way you don't have to reline the lash. The good thing with Ardell glue as well, it is waterproof. So your lashes won't fall off during the day. Trust me, I've used this for years now. So it comes off in that gray kind of color and dries black. Well, I presume it dries black, so let's check it out. I'll let you guys know when I do try it. Um, but yeah, that's really it. Um, do check Meta and Medline out, really good. Um, really cheap lashes, and I got these in probably four or five days, um, I think, something around that. Um, and they do say that it takes around, yeah, five to, 12 working days as well and that was just standard shipping as well so anyways check them out and hopefully I'll try the 118s on for you and I'll show you how to attach the individuals onto your lashes as well anyways see you later